Hello everyone. Let's take a closer look at the hyoid bone and the muscles connected to it. This topic is really important because these structures play a central role in swallowing, speech and stabilizing the neck and jaw. As you can see here, the hyoid bone is a U-shaped bone located in the anterior neck just above the larynx. So what makes it unique is that it doesn't directly articulate with any other bone in the body. Instead, it is suspended by muscles and ligaments which makes it super mobile and functionally significant. So therefore, in this topic, we divide the muscles associated with the hyoid bone into two groups. Suprahyoid muscles, those above the hyoid and infrahyoid muscles, those below the hyoid. So first, let's talk about the suprahyoid muscles. So this group includes four muscles. Digastric, stylohyoid, mylohyoid and geniohyoid. These are the four muscles comes under suprahyoid group. So these muscles primarily forms the floor of the mouth and they elevate the hyoid bone during swallowing. So this elevation is crucial because it helps the larynx rise preventing food from entering the airway. So it is very critical function. So they also assist in opening the jaw. That is when you are trying to speak or take a bite these muscles are actively helping. So now the innervation here is a bit of mix. So pay attention over here. The mylohyoid and anterior belly of the digastric are innervated by inferior alveolar nerve which is a branch of mandibular nerve that is a cranial nerve V3. Right? And posterior belly of the digastric and the stylohyoid are both innervated by the facial nerve which is the cranial nerve number 7. And finally, the geniohyoid gets its nerve supply from the anterior ramus of C1. But here is the catch. It reaches the muscle by traveling alongside of the hypoglossal nerve. So even though the hypoglossal nerve is mainly for tongue movement, C1 fibers ride with it to innervate this particular muscle. So this is what is about the nerve supply and the muscles of the suprahyoid. Now let's take a look at the infrahyoid muscles. So these are located below the hyoid bone and they include sternohyoid, sternothyroid, thyrohyoid and omohyoid. So their main job is to depress the hyoid bone and the larynx. Basically, pulling them back down after swallowing or speaking, we can say. So most of these muscles are innervated by the ansa cervicalis, which is a loop of nerves derived from the cervical plexus, particularly the spinal nerve C1 to C3. But there is one exception. The thyrohyoid muscle is not supplied by ansa cervicalis. Instead, it is innervated directly by the fibers from C1, just like the geniohyoid. And again, these fibers travel via hypoglossal nerve. So all these are the important points what you need to know about suprahyoid and infrahyoid muscles as well as its innervation. So to quickly recap before we conclude this topic, remember that suprahyoid muscles elevate the hyoid bone and assist in jaw opening. In the same manner, infrahyoid muscles depress the hyoid bone and larynx after swallowing. And innervation comes from combination of cranial nerves, 5 and 7 and the cervical spinal nerve C1 to C3. So by this we have concluded the topic of hyoid muscles.